welcome to the stage, the very funny Pax Asadi. I don't know if you guys know this, but I pointed to the one black guy I saw and was like, this music's for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Pax. Don't talk anymore. Um, <laughs> I only got four minutes, shut the fuck up. Okay, so. <laughs> My name is Pex. Um, I grew up on the North Shore. North Shore, make some noise! Yeah. Everyone, okay? Um, I, grew up on the North I, I really like growing up on the North Shore. I really enjoyed it. I went to a cool school. Here's one thing I didn't like about my school. There was no other South Asian kids in my school, which is weird, right? I'm half, I'm half South Asian, half Iranian, half Pakistani. <laughs> Calm down, girls. Hold the applause. Don't get too excited about that. But I'm, there were no other South Asian kids. I'm half South Asian, which was weird. There was a kid from Guam. What the hell are you doing here, Guam? No one invited you. <laughs> so I got made fun of, right? But it was fine. It was the type of making fun of where everyone was still friends, right? They would give it to me, I would give it to them, and everyone was still cool, right? It was like, hey, Pax, there, when am I gonna get my butter chicken? There, as soon as I get my shepherd's pie, Greg. <laughs> it was like that, right? And everyone was still friends, right? Until one thing happened that changed my life forever. 9-11 happened. And overnight, my life changed. I went from being friends with almost everyone to friends with almost nobody. Overnight, it was real quick. I went from Aladdin to Osama like that. It was bad. <clears throat> no one was my friend. And there was a breaking point. There was a point where I broke. I'd had enough, right? We were lining up as a classroom to go into the library. And a kid behind me whispers, Pax is a terrorist. <laughs> and I broke. I turned around and I said, I'm not even Middle Eastern! Because <laughs> I know that I realized that Middle Eastern was the bit that was ruining it for me, right? So I didn't want to be that anymore. And he was like, oh, what are you then? Now what my brain started to do was go through every ethnicity at my school and look for the coolest one. <laughs> so I was like, I'm Tongan. <laughs> no, <laughs> I thought nothing was gonna come of it. I walked home that day, a kid runs up to me and goes, Pax, everyone at school knows you're Tongan. I'm like, what, what do you mean I'm, I'm not Tongan? And he goes, and tomorrow, the Tongan boys are gonna come find you and find out how Tongan you are. I'm like, what do you mean? I couldn't sleep that night. I was sweating all night. I couldn't sleep. I was nervous. I was listening to King Capisi all night. I didn't even know if he's talking. <laughs> I was trying to brush up. Next day comes along. Lunchtime comes around. I'm praying. I'm hoping that the Tongan boys don't find me. And this just passes over. Lunchtime comes around. Sure enough, the Tongan boys come find me. And they're like, Far Pax, we heard it through the great band that you're, um... <clears throat> that you're half Tongan. Is that true? Are you half Tongan? Now, half Tongan, what I did was I, I kept the Pakistani bit and removed the Iranian bit. Because Pakistan in the mid-90s was very just like, thank you, come again. And <laughs> the Iranian bit was the bit that was, the Iranian bit was like, ah! like that was the bit that I needed to get rid of. <laughs> so they were like, far packs, we heard it to talk about that you're half Tongan, ji. And now, the responsible thing to do would have been to be like, guys, I'm not half Tongan. It's a tough time for me right now. No one's my friend. It was just out of emotion, and we move on with our lives. But I was like, gee, of course I'm half Tongan. Gee, I was born Tongan. <laughs> I had to talk like that for the rest of school. It was very hard. For six years, I was Tongan. I had to learn how to break dance. I had to pretend I like Nisian Mystic, guys. It was very hard. But there was, there was a light at the end of the tunnel, and there was, there, was a, there was a beautiful moment, but that moment didn't last long. At the end of my intermediate, at the end of six years of being Tongan, I met, I met yeah, people are like, what the fuck? <laughs> I met this guy, and he was South Asian just like me, and he was Pakistani just like me, and I was so excited. But here's the thing, this is why it was short-lived, because we couldn't talk to each other, and we couldn't communicate with each other. Because he was too busy, Pretending to be Fijian. 
All we could do, all we could do was look at each other awkwardly from the sevens teams we didn't deserve to be on. <laughs> Thank you guys, my name is Pax Society. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much.